Sometimes when we pass someone on the street, read something on the news, hear a story told by a friend, it can take us a moment to remember that the world is so much bigger than our own lives. There is a great deal of fascinating research exploring the world beyond our own. Whether it's looking at the composition of some of the wonders out there, or trying to find answers behind mysteries we have observed. Astronomers conduct an abundance of research, aiming to answer a variety of questions and find us answers as to what lies beyond our own familiar horizons. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three recent discoveries, exploring unusual and unanticipated quirks we have seen out there beyond our own little world. Mysterious new planet ring system discovered inside our solar system. In February of 2023, reports have been shared of a dwarf planet featuring some unusual characteristics that have left scientists trying to understand precisely how and why the expected process has not occurred. In the outskirts of our very own solar system just beyond Neptune, a dwarf planet has been seen with a distant ring forming around it. This ring, comprised of a mixture of dust and debris, has been likened to those of Saturn. Though this dwarf planet's ring is a little more of a shock due to just how far it sits from the planetary body itself. Our solar system boasts several dwarf planets, the most famous of which is, of course, Pluto. Some of these sit along the edge of our solar system, orbiting in a radius larger than that of Neptune, earning themselves the name of trans-Neptunian objects. One such object is Quao, a dwarf planet with an unusual ring. We have a fair few examples of planetary rings within our own solar system, whilst Saturn has a whole host. We can also see similar rings around Jupiter, Neptune and Uranus. Even within dwarf planets and trans-Neptunian objects, we have observed rings in bodies such as Hormia and Chiriklo. Even with all these examples, Quao remains an outsider. The ring surrounding Quao sits unusually far from the dwarf planet itself. So far out, in fact, that prior to conducting these observations, it was assumed to be impossible for a ring to sit so far out. The ring sits at a radius of 2,420 miles away from the center of the dwarf planet. At that distance, it has been thought that the gravitational pull from Quao and planetary bodies alike would be too small for the material to remain spread out and dispersed in this manner. When the materials sit outside of the distance, known as the Roche limit, we have expected and seen before that the material coalesces under its own gravity, forming another moon. This is the first time we have seen a ring sit outside of the Roche limit. Now that we have confirmed that our current understanding is not quite right, we need to look at revising the Roche limit, or rather, what can and cannot exist outside of it. Either that, or there is a different underlying function to the Quao ring, and it should be considered something entirely distinct from others that have been previously observed. Amateur astronomer discovers new moon orbiting Jupiter For the first time ever, an amateur astronomer discovered a new moon in our galaxy. After poring over photos of possible Jovian moons, Kai Li discovered a new moon orbiting Jupiter. This is not the first discovery that Kai Li has made. In 2020, they discovered four lost Jupiter moons. Li used old telescope images from 2003 taken by the Canada-France-Hawaii telescope to find the new Jupiter moon. They were interested in finding another moon on Jupiter, so they analyzed the photos and discovered three possible moons. Then, with photos taken days later, one of the potential moons remained. Lee paid a lot of attention to the photos taken in 2003 because the moons were at their brightest. In 2003, the moons were experiencing a phenomenon called opposition. Opposition occurs when a planet and the sun appear on opposite ends of the Earth's sky, illuminating the planet's system and satellites. In February 2003, this occurred in Jupiter. Lee continued to trace the moon's orbit from images taken from 2003 through to 2018. In total, there were roughly 76 sightings of the moon over a 15-year period. The moon was found in the Calm Cluster. 
which includes 22 other space rocks that share similar orbit patterns. Calm is the largest rock in this cluster. While Lee first thought the moon might be another satellite rock orbiting near Calm, they learned that it was a moon after they calculated the object's trajectory. It is incredible Lee was able to view the moon since some of the Jupiter moons are so small that they can only be detected once a year by even the largest telescope. Lee hopes to make more discoveries in the future, although they described moon hunting as a summer hobby before I returned to school. More moon discoveries are definitely possible. In 2020, Edward Ashton, Matthew Boudouin and Brett J. Gladman from the University of British Columbia have made preliminary observations that suggest Jupiter could have over 600 satellite moons. Astronomers discover spooky object emitting energy in space. Following unknown signals is a well-established method in the field of astrophysics. Researchers will detect something a little out of the ordinary and then begins the quest to find answers as to where it may be coming from. Recently, a team of astronomers detected an energy burst from 4,000 light-years away, so intense that it was one of the most prevalent radio sources. It was detected as frequently as every 20 minutes, with each burst lasting for one minute. This cycle would repeat for a short while, then would go undetected for several hours before resuming. While following up on unknown signals is nothing new, it's rather baffling that the radio burst would disappear and reappear over the span of several hours. Lead author of the study, astrophysicist Natasha Hurley-Walker, described this as quite spooky due to the previously unseen nature of these reappearing bursts. We are used to seeing slow transient bursts, lasting over a few days, before dropping off of our radar for a number of months before resurfacing or fast transients in which we see flashes with durations of just milliseconds. Within either of these known categories, it's clear we are observing something entirely distinct from either of these. Theories are in progress, though with no definitive answers. It has been suggested that it could be being emitted from a slowly spinning neutron star, known as an ultra-long period magnetar, though further research is required to bring this forth past speculation. There are many things out there for us to discover to get us to stop and recalculate previous categories and definitions, all bringing us closer to further answers. With each discovery we make, we find out more and get one step closer to having the right understanding of the world out there. But what are your thoughts on these recent space events? Be sure to let us know in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.